It's time again for The Music Makers with Fitz Randolph. Today we're going to be featuring Edwin Williams, renowned bass player, songwriter, studio musician, has his own recording studio. We're going to be visiting him today. And special guest, jazz aficionado, connoisseur, disc jockey, producer, Jay Edwards will be joining us. You're listening to some of Edwin's music. It's called Dub's Groove, featuring Lloyd Obie on trombone. All right, music lovers, hello and welcome back to the Music Makers. I'm Fitz Randolph, and today we are back in Edwin Williams' studio. Again, and Edwin has put in, I guess I could say decades, of musicianship, and particularly playing in a famous, famous club up in Buckhead, Atlanta, called Dante's Down the Hatch. Has it, it has been decades, hasn't it? Well, actually, it's been about 23 years. Okay, well, that's, yes. that just qualifies. Yes, <laughs> that's more than two decades. Yeah. Um, anyway, Edwin, of course, was a fixture in the band. He was the anchor of the band, and he also, of course, did a lot of other gigs uh, working all over the Southeast and around the world, probably, uh, while doing all this work at Dante's. But Dante's now, here we are, July 2013, and Dante's is going to be no more, uh, which for a lot of Atlantans is hard to believe. But I would say probably for Edwin Williams, this is going to be a step into an incredible future. Um, he has already composed, he's produced, he has worked in numerous bands, he's worked in studios, and he's of course worked here at his own studio. But we're going to be hearing about what Edwin's going to be doing in the future. But we're also going to have a, a guest uh, named Jay Edwards, yeah. who has his own. He is a true music aficionado and an, uh, quite a expert on jazz. Uh, I'd like to know what Edwin's planning to do and what you're going to do now. What are the exciting things you'll be doing? to take your career to the next to the next level. Yes, I had been preparing uh, for the transition for quite some time. Uh, I will still be producing, uh, writing and arranging, recording and so forth, but I will also be collaborating with different musicians on different projects that I will probably produce here in my studio. Uh, we will also have uh, other musicians that are bringing in material that uh, want they want to get recorded here also will develop all that right here in my studio. Do you can you provide a whole band for someone to back them up? Fortunately, we can. Uh, we have many musicians that we work with and we collaborate with on such things as live performance. Uh, we can do anything from duo, trio quartet uh, until all the way up through uh, nine, nine pieces, ten pieces, or even a small big band. So, uh, and that sounds strange to say a small big band, but you know, it will vary anywhere from 12 pieces to 18 pieces. So, we have the personnel, uh, they are available, they are competent players, and they can do any type of music that uh, is required. I ask Edwin, uh, what impact uh, this closing and ending uh, of a long-standing gig, what impact would this have on his career and his creativity? Giving me a little more motivation to create my own, uh, my own music and uh, to actually get it out into the world. Now, if I uh, can get, you know, an enough uh, participation in collaboration, then I will have probably 
uh, music for the next 20 years. We've already recorded close to, well, over 100 songs uh, in all different genres from jazz to pop to uh, dance music. Uh, we have um, basically an endless supply of talent here. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited about trying to develop it. Uh, there are uh, some musicians that I'm working with now that are coming from uh, what we are normally, what, what you normally hear uh, over the airwaves. They're coming out of a different angle, which is exciting to me. Simply because, you know, it's not something that you necessarily uh, heard. Uh, you could have you could have heard some of the ideas, but you probably wouldn't hear them this way that we are putting them out now. So we will probably get uh, uh, I'm talking about uh, myself and Lloyd Obie, uh Terry Smith. Uh, we're producing. Uh, music right now that is very very different from, but it's not too far away from mainstream that you can't recognize it feel it groove with it and say and fall in love with it that's a good thing e studio edwin says the only question really is what do you want to do with music well, we can cater to any need as far as arranging, producing, writing, artist development. We are able to cater to all needs in the music field. Uh, most of the uh, writers and, and arrangers here have, have written and arranged uh, music for some commercial groups, uh, such as like SOS Band. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, big band writers uh, that can arrange for big bands or commercials. I asked Edwin if having the steady same job for over 20 years stunted his creativity. Well, the main thing you had to do when you're playing every night uh, is to make sure that you're not playing uh, to end up being bored with playing. You have to keep it uh, exciting, meaning you have to basically never come back with the same thing you did the night before. Uh, it sounds easy, but it's very, very difficult. Uh, everything is involved uh, with uh, using a concept such as uh, improvisations, where the improvisation, if it becomes too repetitious, it becomes boring. So you have to uh, make it interesting every night. Uh, on my show, Jazz Tones, is to introduce... We're fortunate to be joined by Jay Edwards, a producer at WCLK uh, Radio. He's a jazz connoisseur, has a show called Jazz Tones, Profiles in Jazz, every Saturday, 2 until 6. By Jay Edwards of WCLK Radio. Uh -huh. He's got a show. He's going to tell us all about it right now. He's going to talk a little bit about what he knows about Edwin Williams. Jay? You know, it's a pleasure to be here with Edwin Williams. I've often had a great opportunity to see him perform. And it's interesting because you sit and watch great musicians continually reinvent themselves as they set a theme for the rest and a rhythm, the rest of the world. And what do I mean by that? You know, he's been playing music practically all his life, okay then, and being extremely inspirational to young people like me. <laughs> but not only that, what he does is that he gives people an inspiration and a rhythm where they can get away from themselves and move into a whole nother zone that's very relaxed, man. Do you agree? I agree. Totally. 100%. <laughs> you know, one of the things I've often liked about you, Edwin, in, in your playing is that distinctively you offer something different. You've been playing since you were a very young man. You uh, I started out in a uh, great grammar school band. We had what they call a rhythm band, which, rhythm. Was, which was drums, percussion. Right. And uh, and I played percussions through up until uh, I got, I think I was about uh, 12, 12 years old. And uh, my father once said he needed a bass player. And so I was like, hey, I didn't really want to uh, do the guitar and everything, but when the bass came into the house, 
you know, that you was really for it. That was it. Yeah. That was it. What was your greatest inspiration as a bass player? Well, actually, my father was. Okay. Simply because of the tone that he used to use, or well, that he had. Mm -hmm. uh, I still, to the day, have have not really run into anybody like that. But uh, I've heard people that sound similar. Similar to it. Yeah. Yes. And the thing is, it was it was all about the tone. It wasn't about so much, you know, how much you you were doing. It was just that tone. It, tone. It was, I could feel it. You know, even you communicate to, to the audience. You're giving something to them that's from the heart and from the spirit. You're not contrived. A person like you, you know, that has a particular tone, that makes a difference, especially when you're entertaining people that you don't know. Right. See, I entertain people I don't see and don't know. Right, so right. that makes a major difference because I have to really pick up on what's in the universe while you're conveying it. Well, actually, what you're picking up on in universe is exactly what I'm conveying. Simply because uh, if I'm playing, like I said, like and like you just said, it's coming from the soul, the spirit. Uh, I said, okay, what's he going to do today? You know, you may be doing a standard, but you may divert. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you may well, divert. <laughs> if, 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 if it's like diverting, meaning, you know, going into another field. Right. Well, I can take the standard there with me. Right. You know, so I'm really not diverting it I'm just basically rearranging the rhythm rhythm yeah improvising yeah improvising yeah. and what I mean by divert I mean improvising because I know so great musicians never play the song the same way as right. Blakely says you know so right. what we hear on a recording is only a sample of what you can do exactly and, as a matter because of one of the things that I've learned uh, on my show jazz tones is to introduce different artists and the type of tone that they project out to the audience right. because that's what the audience remembers. That's the uh, response. That's yes. the response. So actually it's a call and response like church. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's a call and response and people don't realize it because it, you know, you're setting a rhythm up and people, oh, I know who that is. Right. I know who that is. And that makes a major difference, I think, in terms of the music today. That's why a lot of times I don't really like a lot of music that's just programmed. Right. Okay, what I mean by programmed, uh, it comes from electronically. Yeah, the sequence. The sequencing, yeah. I have issues with it because the, the, the interplay between musicians is so important and what they convey to the audience. Exactly. And, and me as a, uh, I, I feel that I carry the spirits of you great musicians on the air because I have to segue all your music. So you only have to remember you, I got to remember everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you remember the tone. <laughs> right, I remember the tone. This is the Music Makers, and thank you so much to Jay Edwards from WCLK Radio, the jazz of the city, for joining us today on the show. If you need a musician, if you need a composer, a creative recording artist, contact E-Studio. And remember, keep listening to music. I'm Fitz Randolph. Thank you, nice. Oh, wow, this is rich.